Hello and welcome to Raymond's Art Studio at www.raymondsartstudio.com Okay, so yesterday we turned some uh, one pound bowls, one pound pieces of clay into tea bowls. So today we're going to put the foot on the bottom of the tea bowls. I want to get my bat just slightly moistened. I use a dry piece of clay to put a mark so I can find the center. That way I can get my bowl fairly centered before I get started. Now I just have to work my bowl on here slightly. And I just need to get it centered. As you can see, I have a high spot right here where it's touching. And I just have to move it a little bit more. It should be just about there. Now I have it nicely centered. And now we're ready to roll. I'm going to take my trimming tool, or my ribbon tool, as they call them. It takes, uh, it takes ribbons of clay off of your pots, and that's why they call it a ribbon tool. And we're going to start here on the edge. We're going to make a nice round edge. And then we're going to go right down the side of the bowl to smooth it. Make sure your ribbon tool is nice and sharp. You can sharpen it up with a little bit of sandpaper, fine sandpaper. The sharper the better. You just want to keep it not like knife sharp, but you want to keep a nice edge on the tool. Okay, at this point I'm going to flatten this top edge a little bit, give myself a start. And as you can see, I've already put a mark where I want my my foot to be put so I'm going to start here with my mark and I'm going to go in and at this point I go in fairly deep because I want to create a roundness on the bottom of this bowl that will give it the shape of a bowl and you'll see what I mean here in just a second as I bring it down I round it round it from the center and I round it down into the bottom, like so. At this point, I'll take the edge of my tool and I'll go in at an angle here to create a nice little foot. Touch it up just a little bit. Now as you can see, I'm starting to get a nice rounded edge here, a bottom, bottom. I've got a little bevel on the inside of my foot, and I've got the bottom of the base flat. I'm going to round this just slightly more, just to make it look really nice, aesthetic, aesthetically. I'm going to hit the inside of this bevel just a little bit. I don't want to put real wide. Now I'm going to put a bevel on the outside of the foot to create a narrower foot and to create a mark for glazing. We don't want the glaze to come down beyond this spot here, otherwise it will stick to the kiln itself, the kiln shelves. So nice a neat, tidy little foot. <laughs> and there you have it. Now at this point, it's ready to be signed. I sign it with my name, Ray. Till. And I number each piece. And the number of this pot will be 954.
And that pot is ready to be dried for the kiln. A little touch up on the bottom. I like to put a little pressure on the bottom to make it super smooth. So it doesn't scratch your tables. Now we'll gently slip it off the bat. Give this top edge a nice wipe. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it looks nice and round. And there you have a finished tea bowl made from one pound of clay. Our next step will be drying and then putting it into the kiln for the first firing, which is the bisque firing. I hope you've learned something today from this. Please join me again soon when we put it into the kiln to be fired.